expand. And I pray that every of our heavens will be open in Jesus' name. But I'm going to take some prayer points just, um, just to merge what we just talked about. First Psalm chapter 17, verse 46 says, This day will the Lord deliver thee unto thy he my hands, and I will smite thee, and take thy head from thee, and I will give thy carcass to the host of the Philistines, of the Philistines, this day all the fowls of the hair, and to the wild beasts of the earth, and all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Our first prayer point says, My father, my father, every power in the order of Goliath, making mockery of my testimony, let them receive the stones of heaven and be put to shame, so that my breakthrough will manifest now in Jesus. Now let's me to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray and we declare, oh God, we pray that my, my father, my father, every power in the order of Goliath, challenging over my breakthrough, making mockery of my breakthrough, making mockery of my testimony. I pray that today, let the stones of heaven be against them and let me receive my breakthrough right now in Jesus' name. That even as David came forth to fight, oh God, the other to Goliath, and he brought it, and you gave him victory. I pray, oh God of heaven, that every Goliath standing against us, every Goliath in our career, any Goliath in our family, any Goliath in our, in our marriages, any Goliath, oh God, in our childbearing, any Goliath in, our, in, our, in the ministry, I say, let him receive the stone of heaven in Jesus' name. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are praying. The second prayer point is from Daniel chapter 10, verse 13. It said, The prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days, but Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. Today we're going to pray and say, Father, send forth your chief princes of heaven to fight every territorial power, hindering my breakthrough for manifesting now in Jesus' name. Let us going to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray and we declare. You will say, Oh God of heaven, that you will send forth, Lord, the chief princes of heaven. You will send forth Michael and his host to fight against every territorial power. The prince of Calgary, the prince of Alberta, the prince of Canada that is standing against our blessing, that is saying our blessing will not manifest. The prince of Nigeria, the prince of the air. I pray that, he, that Michael and his host uh, will fight against them in Jesus' name. That Michael and his host uh, will rebuke them in Jesus' name. That we receive, O oh Lord, our blessings now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all you have done, O God. We give you praise in Jesus' name. We are praying. Amen. Number three is in, from the book of Matthew, chapter 20, verse 6. He said, About the eleventh hour, he went out and found still others standing around. We're going to pray and say, God of the eleventh hour, arise and let my blessing manifest now, that all men might know that thy hand is upon my life in Jesus. And let's begin to pray. Wow. Oh God of heaven, Lord, I call unto you, God, the God of the eleventh hour. I pray that you will manifest now in the name of Jesus. That, oh Lord, that you will cause your power, you will cause your might, you will cause your glory to be seen in my life. That even the things that men have thought that is impossible. That many people have said, oh, it is the 11th month of the year. Is it possible to manifest? Oh God of heaven, you that came around in the 11th hour, I pray that you show yourself in my life. And cause that my blessing to manifest now in Jesus' name. Let the God of the 11th hour arise, O oh Lord, in my, in, concerning my life, concerning my family, concerning the ministry, concerning the church, concerning, O oh God, all that concerns me, that your name will be prayed and exalted. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Genesis chapter 15, verse 23, he said, As for me, as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, in order to bring about this pr present result. To preserve many people alive. Amen. Today we're going to pray. I say, Mighty God, let every issue in my life that has brought shame to me become a stepping stone to my testimony in Jesus. And let's begin to pray. Wow. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we pray and we declare, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that everything in my life that has been a thing of shame, that has been, oh God, a stumbling block, that has been, oh Lord, a barrier, today I pray that by your power, let it become a stepping stone to my testimony, Lord, in Jesus' name. As you did, O Lord, unto, unto, unto Joseph, that that which the enemy thought they have, used, that they have, they have sold into slavery became, O Lord, what, O Lord, was the, was the saving of many lives. Let it become manifest in my life in Jesus' name. That everything in my life that the enemy thought they have killed, let it begin to come alive, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Let it be a stepping stone to my testimony. In Jesus' name, we are praying. 
Lastly, our prayer point is from the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Say, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, that he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by spirit that dwelleth in you. To the women in prayer, say, mighty God, let the same power that rose Jesus from the grave manifest now in my life to turn all my sorrow in the glorious singing in Jesus. And let's going to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, I pray, oh Lord, that let the same spirit of the Lord that rose Christ from dead, let it come into my situation, let it come into my life, let it come into my family, let it come into my marriage, let it come into the ministry, let it come to my career, let it come to my finances, and bring, oh Lord, a manifestation, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh God of heaven, let the same spirit that rose Christ from the dead, let it come into me, oh God, and quicken my mortal bodies, and cause everything in my life to begin to go, Lord, come alive in Jesus' name. Thank you for all you have done, oh God. We give you praise. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are praised. Amen. Our Father and our God, we just thank you God for a time like this, oh God. We give you praise. We thank you for your word which you have given unto us. Divine breakthrough and testimony. And I declare, oh God, as a servant of God, that everyone here, oh God, shall receive, oh Lord, that divine breakthrough, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. That those things, oh God, that seem to be, oh God, barriers before us, oh God. And that, that let the angel of God that went before um, um, Peter, that the Bible said as, as they go to that gate, the gate open of their own accord. That I pray, oh God, that angel will go before us, oh God, that every gate that stood before us in the time past will be in the open of their own accord in Jesus' name. That gate of, of limitation, that gate that is not allowing us to succeed, that gate that is not allowing us to receive promotion, that gate that is not allowing us to receive peace, as I let them be in the open of their own accord in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for all you've done, oh God, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen.